Um, this is a GT3 lower control arm. Uh, this is a second hand one and it's in a very good shape. One thing that uh, you need to pay attention uh, when you buy something like this is that uh, this ball joint must be firm. Must be moving like this, but it should be fair. <coughs> and as you see, uh, it has a shim, and uh, these uh, uh, bolts can open, can can be opened, and we can add uh, more shims or uh, remove some of them. So the length of the whole thing can be changed. Okay. Something that is. Uh, important for this one because uh, this size is different on uh, GT3 from uh, your Cayman or your Baxter. So something that is different uh, uh, is the size of the opening of the uh, thrust arm or trailing arm. So that one is bigger actually in Cayman like this and you need to you need to either change this part which I'm not sure if it's easy to do um, in this pushing or uh, your other option is to uh, buy a new uh, thrust arm some people do that uh, some people use some uh, fender washers to put on top of this and uh, just uh, make it fit and uh, some other people uh, try to make it uh, out of an uh, aluminium uh, rod that I will tell you about and um, some companies just uh, make some spacers uh, to for this purpose it's uh, something like ten dollar a piece so uh, you need four of that, forty dollars. Yeah. So, uh, if you wanna use washers or make a spacer, you need to know the measurements. So, this thing is thirty-six millimeter. The inner diameter of the hole is almost 14 millimeter 13.97 I would, I would call it 14 uh, here is 14 14.1 something like that and let me check if it's uh, the same on both sides it should be it's not tapering 13.71 40 yeah so and this is 4.18 millimeter this is basically 11.59 yeah. the thing is when you put a put a spacer on top of this when you put the spacer on this hole it shouldn't contact this one so if the spacer is big uh, it doesn't have any any place to move let me show you. okay so suppose that you have uh, some spacer like this then when you use it here you see when you use it here if it's too big it's gonna uh, be in contact with this this part so it doesn't give you uh, give this uh, bushing enough uh, space to move so the maximum difference between inner diameter of the spacer and the outer diameter of the spacer should be something like I would say 9 or 10 millimeters you see 
9 or 10 minutes comes here and the, the, this is the total 13 so from this this point yeah something like 10 or 9 would be would be good so again uh, as I mentioned when you use the spacer this is not a spacer this is just a washer to to, to show you uh, when you use it on this hole on the outer hole it should not contact uh, uh, this this rim so as I said the maximum uh, size I would say it's 9 or 10 from here so and the inner diameter of the hole is 14 so 14 inner diameter 10 here 10 over there it's 34 so the outer diameter of your spacer should be 34 so it's gonna be stain 34 almost yeah so it's gonna be uh, like this right this particular washer is 31 for example and it comes up to there one more thing to measure is the size of this uh, bushing it is uh, For the original, it's 59.7475 something, and for GC3, it's 42.7 something. The last thing I need to mention is that the size of the spacer, I mean the thickness of the spacer, must be eight and a half uh, millimeter on each side so you need the spacer eight and a half millimeter on this side and eight and a half millimeter out on the other side uh, now this is uh, the gt3 uh, low control arm and this is the, the one that was on the payment I, uh, align them together like this and I drew a perpendicular line here to see how different they are and they are almost uh, 9 or 10 uh, millimeters different so I think that if I remove this uh, shims then uh, they must be almost the same size so uh, I think that the alignment of the car would be okay to take it to the alignment shop after that I hope so